DJ Papa Ray here again, down in the dungeon, playing with another setup. I've got my ADJ table in white, my Rockville Totems, Chave Intimidator 260s, my RCF Evox J8s, uh, I've got a Chave 4-bar try in the back. And like I said, this is just in the basement, set up in a corner. It takes about ten and a half feet this direction, ten and a half feet wide. I've got my RCF set as high as they'll go with the poles that are provided. And those Rockville totems are as high as they go also. Okay, here's a look at the back of the booth. It's uh, not super clean. I wasn't really trying to go too clean. I've got an ADG, ADJ Mega Bar down behind the booth set on a program. And if you're wondering about the music, I used to be a magician. That's some of my magician music back in the day. But yeah, I mean, I don't have my wires hidden or anything like that. Not at this time. Let me go through what I've got. Okay, I've got a tablet running DJ, the app. That is there just as a backup. And I always keep a couple songs queued up on that just in case. And my Yamaha MG6 mixer. I've got two wireless mics plugged into there, which actually goes into the uh, GTD audio unit down here. And you can see they're plugged in right there and right there. And I am just running mono out. I have another cable if I want to choose to do stereo, but I like mono better. And this right here is where my backup is running. Normally I run everything on eight, but my level right now I've got it turned way down so you can hear me. Okay, moving over, I have a little HP, it has 8 gig of RAM, I think it's an i7, I cannot remember, no, it's an i5, it's an i5, I only paid $300 for this on Amazon refurbished. Pioneer SB3 in a Harmony case. I like this setup because it fits perfectly with the shelves on the ADJ table in between each one of them. Okay, over here I have another tablet running my DMX Go. And all I am running with that are my Intimidators. I, I'll show you the room a little bit. You can do numerous things. I'll push, I've got it programmed for like a center spot. Um, and there it goes. And you can change the go bows on them to like an open. So now, now there's your center spot. And you can go out of that and do, well, try to anyway, just do a little bit of everything, springs. Now I've also got these lights programmed to where, you notice they're not coming back here on me. 
that's one thing I like the my DMX go for they are staying on the dance floor and in the front so that's one thing I do like about it and let's see what else I have here my microphones back there is the my DMX go box In this case right here is my spare hard drive just in case my hard drive goes bad which is right there I keep a lot of my music on the computer itself but I've got about I don't know 18,000 songs that I keep on here and uh, I, I'm not gonna have everything they have I'm not gonna have everything they ask for but I've got a lot and this is the foot pedal for the Chave four bar try behind us and I have my various remotes okay I use Rockville for my glow totems and I use this one right here as the master. I use an IRF, IR remote. I don't use DMX. And I just use that little remote for it. Just have a cheap set of headphones and my headphone holder. I got it off Amazon. You can pretty much swivel it any way you want it and it just has a little retracting piece right there to keep it uh, tight. I can put it anywhere I want. A lot of the time I'll have another another light over here plugged into the computer if it's really dark and I'll shine it down right in this area where I need some extra light. It, I, it has a dimmer on it and uh, different colors I can choose so I like doing that and I also every now and then I'll have a uh, microphone stand hooked up right there also and I'll swing that in and out it'll swing like that way and then it'll swing in this way so yeah I may end up doing some more reviews on this stuff on YouTube one at a time Especially if anybody has a request and I can uh, go over how I do it. I do it the cheap way, as, as cheap as I can do it at least, because I have hardly any internet. So I move songs from BPM to my phone to my one computer that gets internet. I never put this one on the internet. I want it to, after I finally got my programs on there, I've got Serato on there. I never put it on there again, and I've never had a problem. But I'm gonna get another computer when I feel like spending another $1,500 and get a real good one. Anyway, that's my little setup. I'll come back around here and to the front, and we'll see it one more time. And there you go. Alright, this is DJ Papa Ray down in the dungeon playing around. Thanks for watching.